Hey everyone, checking in from the heart of CES to talk about some of the new tech that I've seen so far. Now, I'll admit, I've kind of had thin tech on the brain ever since I demoed the new Even Thinner Wheat Thins product. So, I've been out to find all things thin and see how they compare. Let's just say, it's been a really busy CES. I saw all the usual thin stuff, you know, like phones and laptops and microchips. But I also saw some things that made me think twice about the whole thin phenomenon. The first thing I saw was this ultra-thin virtual reality goggles. Now, they were made by this company called Thin Imagination. The idea sounded great, but as soon as I put the goggles on, the thinness kind of destroyed the VR experience. I mean, it just wasn't immersive at all. Then, I came to the thinnest wearable tech ever created, made by Thin Tank. Now, the band looked really sleek on my wrist and the interface was super cool, but the shine wore off after the battery bit the dust pretty much right away. So here's me, looking super awesome at the charging station. Now, I thought I had finally found a winner when I came across Aerothin's felt looking drone. Now, this mini flying saucer hovered like an absolute miracle over the exhibition booth. But when I tried to give it a little more altitude, the air conditioning blew its thin little frame across the room and I might have wrecked it. So, yeah, the thinness revolution is totally real, but it's probably a good idea to leave that to the experts. I mean, seriously, how do you even compete with this? It's thinner, it's munchier, it's awesomeier, and you know what? I'll just say it. As far as I'm concerned, no one does thin like even thinner we thins. I'll keep you guys posted if I see any awesome stuff, but honestly, I doubt that's gonna happen. I'll see you later.